Hi, I'm Jamie Green and welcome back to another Allen Motor Group video. And today I'm out with the UK's best-selling van, the Ford Transit Custom. But this isn't just any Ford Transit Custom. This is the all-new plug-in hybrid version of the Transit Custom. So join me now and let's have a look at what makes this van so special. As always, we're going to kick off with specifications and we're going to start under the engine bay for a change. This van is powered by a 92 kilowatt motor power in the front wheels, which is powered from the 13.6 kilowatt hour battery underneath the low compartment floor. That battery can do 35 miles on EV only mode, or if you've got it on EV auto, which we'll talk about the modes a little bit later on as well, it's charged up by this three cylinder EcoBoost engine that we find underneath the bonnet. The entry level transit is the leader, which comes with heated seats, also headlights and four to four inch infotainment system. Next in the lineup comes the Trend, which comes with power fold mirrors, front fog lights, front and rear parking sensors and the eight inch infotainment system. And finally, top of the range comes the Limited, which comes with dual side doors, LED low compartment, eight tie downs in the rear low compartment and body style color molding. With a full charge and a full tank of fuel, this van will do around 310 miles. And it does come with a whole host of optional extras as well, which are included, but not limited to a rear view camera, lane keep assist, your blind spot assistance, and a tire pressure monitoring system. Now, one thing that often happens when you turn a vehicle into a hybrid is you lose some of the space in the boot or in the back where the battery pack is. And as I said earlier, the battery is under the low compartment, but you don't lose any space here. Ford have done a wonderful job of keeping this 8.3 cubic meters space in the rear. And I've been testing this low compartment in the last couple of days, as you can see behind the screen now. High-sided vehicles, vans, lorries, have a higher, higher chance of rolling than your standard car does. When well, Ford and all the other manufacturers put in a lot of effort to make sure they don't do this by keeping the center of gravity low. And Ford have adapted the battery pack to do this even more by having it underneath the low bay floor, keeping that center of gravity really, really low, making this van even safer than its standard petrol or diesel cousin. And that brings me to the slightly bad news is that you do lose some of the weight capacity in the back of the Transit Custom Hybrid due to the weight of the battery pack. We only lose 225 kilos with this van still taking a respectable 1,130 kilos or 1.13 ton of weight in the back, which still is not a bad thing. All of the plug-in hybrids are fitted with a very clever piece of technology called geofencing and what geofencing does is it detects when the van enters a ultra low emission zone and it switches off the petrol engine and runs solely off of the 13.6 kilowatt hour battery in the back and that means you avoid a lot of the congestion charges when you enter built up cities the next thing for us to talk about is the selectable drive modes which are changed via this button under the vent and if we look i'm currently in ev auto which what that does is that discharges the battery allows the engine to charge the battery and harvest electricity as the van sees fit due to the road conditions i can switch into ev now which turns off the engine and allows me to do all electric driving and be fully green I can switch to EV later, which saves my electricity and just uses the power that the engine is producing to the battery to run the wheels. Or I can switch it into EV charge, which basically the engine is on all the time and as you probably just heard it came on. The engine is constantly on, constantly providing power back to the battery for the road conditions. Storage and connectivity isn't a problem in the Transit Custom as above the wheel I have a USB and a 12 volt connector and down here in front of the centre seat I also have one. Bringing me onto the centre seats you actually have a three seater with coat hooks. If I move back around to the door you can see I have three door pockets an upper, a middle and a lower and I've got loads of storage here, a cup holder and all across the dashboard and even above my head. You can say storage in this van really is good. Complete with a massive glove box as well. Something I absolutely love about this van is where the charging cables are stored and they're stored under here, the passenger seat. You simply pull this tape, lean it forward and underneath a compartment for your three pin or your type two charger. It really is thought out well. 
The last thing for us to talk about in the practicality segment is the charging times, which as you can see underneath the passenger side headlight, we have a charger here. Now this can be charged off a three pin plug in around four hours and 30 minutes, or off a type two charger in around two hours and 40, and we'll get you, as we said earlier, around 35 miles of all electric driving. And now we move on to the styling segment of this video and looking at the plug-in hybrid you wouldn't know there was a plug-in hybrid except for the flap under the left hand headlight and look at them they're massive and they're open the same as a trend has been for a long long time and it's very very stanced with this fantastic open mouth giving it a really aggressive look at the front let's start with the doors they have this lovely piano black lining and it's very light to use as well so it's very easy to use Moving to the steering wheel, it's an old friend. It's a standardized Ford wheel that you find out of Cougar Focus Fiesta and some of the other models. It's very, very nice and it makes it feel more like a car. If we come in here, you can see I've got no rev counter. I have a hybrid meter with a green, blue and white segment. Now in the blue, I'm using battery power. In the white, the engine's having to top up a little bit. And in the green, I'm harvesting energy for the battery pack. If we come down over here as well, you can see that I have the infotainment system with Ford's standardized eight inch screen and a very easy to use climate control set here. And even to the automatic gear selector, very easy to use and very similar to Ford's other models. You'll find inside is very much like sitting in a large Ford car. It's very user friendly and it's very well styled. Around the back of the Transit, again, it's very deceptively a Transit Custom with its long rear lights and its wide set doors. However, under here, you can see plug-in hybrid, and that is the only evidence that this is a hybrid version. The Custom Hybrid is available in 10 colors, of which today we are out in this lovely metallic chrome blue. And what else do you need to know about the plug-in hybrid? Well, it has a very tight turning circle for a van at just 10.9 meters, making it perfect for intercity driving. It was also limited to just 75 miles an hour. And that is all we've got time for today. And what a van we're looking at. This is Ford's first attempt at a plug-in hybrid commercial vehicle. And this is the way that the commercial market is going. It's gonna be a cleaner, greener future for intercity motoring, reducing emissions by the use of the battery and the electric motor through the front wheels. If you'd like to know more about this van or come in to test drive one, visit your local Allen Motor Group dealer or head to our website. Till next time, goodbye.